Is your estimating calendar booked out? How about your project calendar? Is that booked out for the entire summer? That feels good, doesn't it? It does. It feels good to know you've got estimate after estimate lined up and you've got project after project lined up. But as Craig Valentine, who was the 1999 world champion of public speaking said, don't let your good get in the way of your, you can probably guess, great. Don't let your good get in the way of your great. It's good to have a full calendar. It feels good knowing that you've got those estimates scheduled and those projects scheduled. But you know what's great? Is knowing that each one of those estimates is pre-qualified and is your target market. And knowing that each one of those projects was hand-picked and is the best project for you. Now, how can you assure that that happens? In the DYB system, we talk about pre-qualifying your leads. And in this process of these five questions that we have, then you'll be able to know whether or not each lead that you're going to for that estimate is a perfect fit for you. And if not, how to politely and um, re refer it to someone else where they're thankful for it. Because guess what? You're not gonna be a great fit for everyone. Shocker, right? And so uh, because we can't get to everyone and we're not a great fit for everyone, there's room for everyone at the table. There are jobs galore. I love how Mark Polo said it. He was flying back into Chicago and he was looking down and he saw row upon row of houses. And he was reminded that, wow, there is so much work out there for everyone, right? And so there are people who want it done cheaply and quickly, and that's a great fit for them. And there are painting contractors who can provide that. And then there are painting contractors who um, do top-notch work and everything's perfection. And then you do pay high, higher price for the experience and the value. And so there's customers for everyone, no matter what they're looking for. So not everyone is a great fit for you, okay? Let's get that out of our heads. So when you are booking your estimates to go look at their project, ask those pre-qualifying questions to make sure that every estimate that you're going to is not a waste of time for you or for them because if you're too high of a price for them it's a waste of time for them and for you it's a it's not a good fit and that's absolutely fine there's nothing wrong with that you just want to know up front right okay so ask these five pre-qualifying questions and we'll have the download available for you if you want those in a nice printed out form but ask the pre-qualifying questions before they even get to your estimating calendar then when you get to the project and you're estimating make sure it's a perfect fit ron ramson did a great post on why he doesn't paint the house on the hill and i had such a great time with this post because of some of the comments that were made afterward because what he was talking about was making sure that every project for you is in your target market a perfect fit for you not filling up your calendar with jobs that you may want but aren't going to be as uh, not your bread and butter. If you really zero in on your target market with the three P's process, the people, the process, and the profit, if you really zero in on that, and everyone's gonna be different. There's companies who they only want the house on the hill, and that's great. Know your target market, and then go after them. Zero in on them, so that you're only going to those estimates, and you're only booking those projects. The point is not that you can't paint the house on the hill. The point was that know your target market <laughs> and don't paint the ones that aren't in your target market. And then you know what this allows you to do is to create relationships with other painting contractors who have a different niche than you. Because guess what? Though you could do every project, the most profitable for you is not gonna be what's most profitable for everyone. We all have different strengths. For example, when we had the painting company, we uh, partnered with another painting company. Uh, partner's not the right word. We had an agreement with another painting company who did high rises. So we didn't want anything to do with anything more than two stories high. Two stories, great. Anything more than that, that was his niche. And he was great at those. And that was his target market. 
but not ours. So we had an agreement where, hey, any lead that comes our way for that, we're gonna send it to you. And he's like, hey, any residential, I'm gonna send it to you. And that was a great fit. It's a win-win for everyone. It is not a win-win for everyone when you try to be the jack of all trades, right? Okay, so know your target market with the three Ps and then pre-qualify every lead that comes in so that your estimating calendar and your project calendar are filled with only your target market and jobs that you just love and are going to be the best fit for you. I'm April with DYB Coach. You've got this. Woo!